start three throws, you've watts. got to break one. So you've got to put the pressure on at some point. And I think yeah, he, he held his own throw though. very well. Jerome and that's a nice 11 dart leg and hold a throw. Daniel and, uh, requires 60. Missing his presentation tonight, we saw from his interview. Tops it is for Dan Sean Reed. The fourth and again, Dan he's... Reed. All of a sudden, this one has exploded into life. 170. Jerome, you require Pressure 81. applied. All of a sudden, this 81 becomes difficult. It's going to get two at double 12. Game and that is absolutely play. outstanding. Jerome and Mill. that reaction says it all. He knows how big that is. Fist pump between the two. Dan Jerome Reed has had the opportunity eight. he craved, couldn't take it. Your own Milk shots. doesn't pass and up match. a third Jerome opportunity. Milk. And your own Milk, our Group A winner, gets Saturday night off to a flyer with two points. And we can see what it means by that celebration. The average is over the 90 mark. Dan Reed over the 96 mark, but comes up pointless. Coming up after the break, we will see Brett Clayton against Robert Thornton. Um... You know, he beat me beat me three sets to nil there and I, you know, I just couldn't hit a, a double to hold, hold my own set and that was as simple as that. Otherwise, game shot on the first maybe it'd be a different game. So, I'm still in the senior, so hopefully we'll get another go at him. Robert, you require 40. Thornton approaches, stares it down game and hits shots, it clean as match, a whistle. Robert Thornton. Robert Thornton has his finals night off to a winning start so far in his campaigns here. Finals nights have eluded him, but this time the Thorn has the points in the bag. 85.54 average for him. After the break, we go back to Group 1 with Dan Reed against Conor Heenahan. Conor, the point is upwards in the air and, up, and the flight is lower than the point when it leaves his hand. I'm seeing Conor Heenahan here doing what he's been doing most of the week. 80. Dan, you require Would have been 62. 306. Dan Reed's going to get two darts to level us up. That one's wild. On. Game but shot the recovery the is good. Line. Dan Reed. Anyone Connie would think George Noble 92. was in the building. And the boys getting their value for money tonight. Game shot on the seat play. Connor Heenan. Good finish that was. Clean. Absolutely. One hundred. What a time for a maximum. We saw the celebration. And all of a sudden, Dan Reed is on the ropes. 60. Connor, you're requiring 90. The 180 has done the damage. He should get at least one dart. He's going to get two. Double 15. Can he get one more? Game. And Shots. he's there. And the match. We can Connor see Hinehan. what it means to Connor Heenahan. He has booked his place in the semi final. And Dan Reed departs finals night. He can't now qualify. So it's a case of who will finish top in group one. The explosiveness of Connor Heenahan 96.42 average for him. That 180 in the last leg doing all the damage. Coming up after the break. Robert Thorne returns as he plays Lewis Gurney. Lewis should require 64. Same corridor. One dart, double 16. Game shot on the sequel. That's all he needs. The 64 goes. And we are going the distance again. He can't believe he's gone past those darts and it's not in. Lewis should require 52. Anything past, you would think it was going to be in the green bit. Nervous. Should have had two. Yeah, he's only going to get one. And he only needs one. The first start of the pick number was a flyer. But Lewis Gurney recovers to keep his hopes alive. And now everything is in play in group two. It's going to be a thrilling climax, that last game in that group. But after the break, we come back for bragging rights in group one. As Conor Heenahan takes on your own milk. Conor, you require 100. Trouble 15 will be the shot, and he's hit it. Game shot on the and first And he's also play. hit the tops Connor as well. Conor Heenahan. Jerome, you require 123. Miok, 19's first. Treble 18 for the ball. It's 
going to get a dart at the bullseye. Aim shot on the and that is leg. sensational, Jeremy Scott. Connor, you require 95. Tops to save himself. Game shot on the third leg. Did we ever doubt him? Connor Heenahan. Only require 136. Leave 132. The champagne shot. Is he going to get a go? Game shot on the fourth leg. Jerome Meok. Jerome, you require 28. For bragging rights Game in group shot. one. And the goes match. to Jerome, Jerome Meok. He fanned the break with throw when he needed to. And Jerome Meok will top group one, have advantage in the semi final. And you can see him by that celebration. He knows that big moment that is. 97.55 average from him. Coming up after the break, everything is on the line in Group 2 as Lewis Gurney takes on Brett Clayton. From Gurney. 97. He's not going away. That's lovely from Brett. Game shot on the fourth. And that's a nice, slick, clean finish. Lewis requires 75. 18 for tops to keep his hopes Aim alive. Shot on the fifth leg. Lewis Gurney. I just thought we may get a little bit more from him there. Wasn't up to it. Brett Clayton has already missed four match darts. Game but he shot doesn't miss a and fifth. Match, and Brett you can Clayton. see what it means to him. He looks at the heavens, gives it the big one. Brett Clayton is in the semi-final and he takes Robert Thornton with him. There's the averages. It got a little bit nervy in this one, but it is Brett Clayton who bags the points. Coming up after the break, we're going to have some reaction from the balcony. Didn't really need to go for that. He could have two that up, I think. But there we go. We will find out. A 180 here, what pressure that would put on. Look at the size of that bed. One hundred. All in one corner on the right. So now you require ten. It's must Game hit for me off. It seemed to Jerome me that's what he needed. One hundred and eighty. Robert, you require one hundred and sixty. Here comes the one eighty for me off. Those huge points. 81. He can Jerome place them on a pinhead. Travel 17 for a dart, a double 16. Game shot. Oh my. What are we seeing Jerome here? Miok. That is absolutely sensational from your own Miok, and you can see it. He knows he's playing well. Robert, you require 124. Does he go for it? Game oh, shot yes, he does. Play. Robert Thornton. Uh, stunning 1-2-4 finish from Robert Thornton. Lost its Jerome destination. It's so a nervy dart. He's pulled it. He's going to get one more. Game and this time, Jerome and Miok is Jerome into the Miok. final. We see what it means to him. It was a game he dominated in fairness. It got a little bit nervy towards the end. But our first finalist for week 12 is Jerome Miok. 87.77 average for him. That blockbuster 1-4-3 finish books his place in the final. Coming up after the break, our second semi-final. Brett Clayton taking on Conor Heenahan. He almost did that with a 170 right. in his first game tonight against Thornton. Game shot on the second That's a leg. fabulous recovery dart. You can see what it means to Conor Heenahan there, the fist pump. And if you do make the fight, it feels like you played two finals. They're that big here on a Saturday night. Semi-finals are definitely Game shot on the third leg. very difficult mentally. And Connor, you require 132. Our oh, champagne cork is going to be popping. 57. How much of this ball can he see? 
It's awkward, but it's a match start. Game. That shot. is absolutely and outstanding Connor from Connor Heenahan. Heenahan. The champagne shot to seal a place in the final. He's almost done a Dean win Stanley and run off the stage, but that sets up the final. It is going to be Connor Heenahan against Jaron Miok, and you can see what it means to him. And you just get this feeling that the final could be something special. Coming up after the break will be the final. Connor Heenahan against Jaron Miok. You require a Imagine the bullseye first. Plum, two at double 16. Game shot on the second leg. Jaron Look Miok. at him. By 136. Another. For double eight. Game oh shot my. on the third leg. Jaron Miok. He knows he's playing well. <clears throat> Already this evening. And that was a carbon copy. Same route, same way. 100. And same. He was so clinical. Yeah, 17, 14, 15 with a 1 3 6 finish. 180. This is turning into something special. 60. This is of the highest order. Currently averaging 103. 60. Connor Heenahan needs something. Needs a spark. 28. And can't find it. One hundred and forty. Dan to one two one after nine. Ninety eight. Jerome required one hundred and twenty one. Is this Jerome Miok's destiny? Eighty scored. Forty one left. Eighty nine. Leaves. Leaves double 16 for glory. 60. Jerome, you require 32. Double 16 to win. How much can he see? Game. Enough shot. is and the match. answer. And the Motor Super Jero Series. Jerome produces champion. an absolute Jero stunning Mio. performance to beat Conor Heenahan 4-0, win week 12 of Series 4 of the Motor Super Series, booking his place at Champions Week. There's the stats. The average just dipped towards the end with a couple of missed darts at double, but it's still 98.56, 1180, but it is the 57% on the doubles, the 136. Absolutely stunning. Back-to-back, -back, 15 dart legs to seal victory. 17, 14, 15, 15, including that 136 high finish. He bullied Conor Heenahan from the off, and Heenahan didn't have the answers. Now we're going to pass over to the stage and our official, Mr. Charlie Corstaphine. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for our presentation. So to present the trophy, would you please welcome to the stage the former Lakeside world champion, Scotty Dog, Scott Mitchell. Well, ladies and gentlemen, he's won the final spot into Champions Week, and he is the Moda Super Series Week 12 champion, Jerome Mion! Well, Jerome, many, many congratulations. Let me bring you in here just for a quick little chat. Many, many congratulations. Yeah. I'll just turn you around very quickly. Well done. That's many great. congratulations. Yeah, thank you, You're mate. into Champions Week. Yeah. Well done. Thank you, mate. How, yeah. how do you feel? How do you feel? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, you've put in an amazing performance <laughs> in that final. Your average was 90, 98 and a half yeah. against Connor. I mean, yeah. the, emo the emotion on your face says it all. This yeah. means a hell of a lot to you, doesn't I know, it? I had a feeling. My feeling says there's no one going to beat you tonight. I don't know. I don't know what it... Yeah. yeah. Where does that feeling stem from? Yeah. Just, was it just something you felt, or was it just like you just had that inner belief tonight? Did yeah, something just I, click? I mean, yeah, yeah. What'd you say? But, uh, I, I don't know. I, yeah. 
Yeah, it's amazing. I don't, yeah. Mm -hmm. We we played a couple of times a few months ago. Yeah. And I got you once, and you got me once. And yeah. That that sort of the way that you've played tonight was the way that you yeah. handed me my own backside, by the way. <laughs> and I and yeah. I tipped you at the start of the week on Monday. I said at five to one to win the group, you were the outside bet. And I said, but I don't think five to one to win the group is the outside bet. I said, to win the whole week, he had a chance yeah. to win the whole week if he turns up and plays like he did. And you did all that. As the week grew, you got better and better and better. Did you feel more relaxed as the week went on? No, I feel I, I had a lot of pressure of before we beginning tonight. We, I had a lot of pressure, but I win my first match. I had some little bit of luck. Uh, then missed uh, 68 for the match. Uh, I hit the double four and yeah, I win the first game. Uh, nah, Connor beats uh, Dan. So we, we knew we both to the, to the semi finals. So the, the, the last game in the group, uh, the pressure was off. No, I, I win that game and yeah, it feels, yeah, n yeah, what I said. I can see the emotion on your face right now. Yeah, like, it, man, it, it, yeah, man. Is this your yeah. proudest moment in darts? Yes, man. Yes, of course. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I, I, I don't no have no. The, 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 Sorry, super, but... the super series is spreading far and wide now, and we know that it's getting known around Europe. Is it? Is it starting to sort of, you know, come to the players in in Holland, and everybody wants to be here? Yeah. Yeah. There are so many players that wants to be here, and I, yeah, I want I want to thank the ADC Europe that they got that that they have invited me to play here. This my this was was my second time. And uh, my goal for the, uh, from the beginning of the week was d uh, do it better than last mm -hmm. time. Yeah, no, of course I did it better. I was going to say, I do you it better did than do last it. time. Yeah. And now you've got to do it again next week. Champions yeah. Week, obviously, yeah, starting yeah, of Monday, Monday yeah. morning. So, yeah. you know, I have it's to a quick turnaround. <laughs> can you, can I have you to call my manager off? to uh, book, say. book a week more in the hotel. Oh, yes, yes. I was going to say, <laughs> can you get the time off? Is that okay? No, no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if you're the boss of Jerome Meok, book yeah. him the week of work, yeah. please. We want him here at Champions Week. Well, Jerome, yeah. It's, yeah. we're so pleased to see you win here this week. I can see the smile on your face. Yeah. It's really good to see. I'll let you go off and celebrate. Many congratulations on your victory. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Jerome Meok. Yeah. I'll take that. Well, Scott. You can just see from the moment he started talking to us to the moment he hit that winning double and he's still celebrating now on the stage just how much that moment meant to him. And we say it quite a lot here that this, this competition has such importance and gives players like Jerome such a platform to grow. It does. I mean, it, the fact that, like he's just said, that, that, that he's spreading across Europe, the fact that how big the Super Series is for players, it's, it's a great thing to come here and win. And to get to Champions Week, it's going to take his game so much further forward. No matter how he does next week, he will be learning a lot about himself and about the game. And he's a young man that this ain't the first time you're going to see him winning stuff. Is it an advantage or disadvantage to be Week 12? A, you've got that adrenaline of winning Week 12, but we don't know the groups yet. We'll finalise that in due course. But... Is there a possibility that the two weeks could also come as a consequence? Well, I'm worried for him that he's going to get bored if he has one day off. <laughs> he, he got bored when he said he had two days off and he didn't know what to do with himself. So he's got another day off tomorrow minimum. Um, look, I, I think that he's just got to enjoy tonight for being tonight. Get back, phone the family, do, do what you need to do this evening. Let it all sink in and I'm sure he'll come back with an air of confidence because... If it is the last week and, and, and you get through the last week, there's no more time and no more, more confidence for him than, than starting to play again straight away. So, you know, you can't buy confidence. You've got to earn it. And he's earned it tonight. Should be a good Champions Week. I think so, yeah. I mean, it's just, yeah, I'll be watching, that's for sure. Well, Scott, it's been an absolute pleasure to have your company over numerous times in Series Hall. Thank you so much for being a part of our punditry team. And we're going to get Champions Week underway on Monday morning from half past nine. Paul Nicholson and Chris Mason are going to be joining myself for the coverage over the course of six days when we find out whether Luke Littler can defend or whether there's going to be a fourth name on the title. But as far as Week 12 is concerned at the Super Series, Miok was the master. Geronimo at the Live Lounge.